so we are now in Velka Hota in Czech Republic, a village. <laughs> Dobry den. Good day at um restaurant, sir. Prosim. Velk. Ahoy! <laughs> Ahoy, Dobri den! <laughs> Neska ya puidu Velka Hota restaurant, sir. I know. Kopit Yidlo. Trichni Cheske Yidlo. I know. Only my Dobre Yidlo. I know. Mate Slepit, sir? No, I'm a Menecho. Nitz? A Yenon Pesek. A Kotur. I just need. Dobry den. Dobry den. Tak, Neska ya Krasni den. Slunko Sviti. Yo. Yo. So gelate. Co dzielaty? Tak, tak drobnie, no, kolem baraku. Ano, ano. Rzadki. Dobre. Tak, nejte se. Opatruj się, dobry. Let's go. All right, and this is the village here in Velka Hota. So, I'm going to make my way now to the restaurant and I'll show you a bit of Czech traditions. Czech food, typical Czech food. Let's go. And the bus is coming. This is a Czech bus, by the way, in Velka Hota. Really nice day today. 6.25. Nieta se. Velka Hota. And this is the typical village bus. By the way, there is no shop in this village, only a pub. Really friendly neighbours here in this village. 625, Valeska Mezuzici, Velka Hota. All right, let's continue the journey to Velka Hota Restaurant. Pojdme, let's go. Dobry den. Dobry den. Good day, Restaurant, prosim. Velka Hota. Dobre, and oni my dobre idlo, že? A slivovice a pivo? No, zabiečka byla. Zabiečka. Dneska? Ne, sobotu. Sobotu? Oh, super, dobre, děkuji. Nejte se, dneska ano. Slepice! Slepice! Dobrý den, slepice. Slepice. Slepice! 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 Dobry den, Slepice! Mate domatsi vajčka? Slepice i so tady! Super! Right. We've had a chat with the local villagers. I've, sleep, I've seen Slepice. It's a great day today. Slunko Sviti. The sun is shining. And it's a great day to go and get some Tipitski Cheske Yidlo. Typical Czech food. Let's go. Pojme. Come on, let's go. So, this is my surroundings in Velka Hota, in the countryside in Moravia. So as you can see on the peak on the top of the mountains, I'm not sure if you can see, but in the distance and also here on the floor, still snow. Wow. So look, there's no pavement here. <laughs> I'm walking on a road in the village with no pavement. Beautiful surroundings here, beautiful. And we are now in Velka Hota. So, the plan now is to make my way down the hill now on this really sunshine and beautiful day. And as you heard, the locals said Zabiechka on Sobota on Saturday. So definitely got to do that. I definitely have to go to Zabiechka. Such a really sunshiny day. And I'm going to show you that there's still snow where I am now. The snow hasn't yet melted. All 
Right, let's keep going. In Velka Hotar, a population of 500 people. Really small village, no shop, only a pub. <laughs> and Slepitsa. Really beautiful view here. Check out the mountains. In the distance is Radhosh. That's also another touristic attraction. That's one thing I really liked about this region where I'm now in Wallachia is the beautiful hillsides. The mountains, the trees, the tall trees. It looks really beautiful. This is a village with a population of 500 people. And look how quiet it is, no cars. Listen. Look at the view, wouldn't you love to live in a location like this? Just so, so relaxing and calming and soothing. Tivole, soto smrji, kravi sotam. That's what I smell. Cows, they have cows over there in the distance. Wow, they have so many. Check cows. Kravi Sultan. Right. And the beautiful mountains, the hills and the low, the tall trees, really, really nice. Let's keep going in this direction here. Really beautiful wooden, semi-wooden house here. In Czech Republic, it's called Drebjanice. Wow, really fascinating wooden house. Those of you that have been watching my channel for a very long time and my early videos, you know that I like wooden architecture. So that's really interesting. And as you can see, this is what they would use for Zabiechka. Wow, and you can see some tools here. All right, that looks really cool. This Drevjanice wooden house. Semi wooden house, really nice. Really beautiful day today. There's the bus stop, wooden bus stop. By the way, straight ahead is a church, a wooden church. Pastor Jan Karafiat, children's writer of a book called Brotsi once was a pastor at this church. That's fascinating, right? Here in Velka Hotta, Jan Korafiat, writer of Brotsi, children's book. How amazing. Once was a pastor of this church in Velkar Hotta in Czech Republic. Wow. Wow, wooden church. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. And this is the cemetery. Right, so we're not far from the restaurant. Let's go. Mamjizen. I'm thirsty. Mamjiz and Napivo. I'm Amhalad. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. <laughs> so, those of you that have probably noticed, I speak Czech in my Czech videos and after I may repeat myself in English. The reason why is because the Czechs may know of the platform Seznam, but most of you do not know of the Seznam platform. It's like the Czech version of Yahoo and my videos go on that platform every Sunday. This is an old hut, looks like. What's this here? Oh, looks like some old abandoned house. And there's a stream going down there. Right, let's go get some food. Right, so we've seen the surrounding area. 
and now we're just approaching the restaurant now awesome <laughs> I'm looking forward to the food wood also another thing in Czech Republic in most places which I've visited I've seen a lot of people storaging wood in their garden which is really beneficial especially in the winter times right so we just make our way down here now wow really really nice surroundings here really nice after all this walking I'm craving a Czech beer and my Czech subscribers know my favorite Czech beer <laughs> but most of you subscribers don't know my favorite Czech beer because I haven't done a Czech video for ages it's the time the time has come it's going to be really nice weather coming up summertime on the way expect me to pop up anywhere any village any restaurant expect the unexpected okay so the restaurant is in the distance Obetsni Doom Velka Hota This is the only available place for food or drink in this region in Velka Hota in this village no other shop Obetsni Doom Velka Hota Right so it's time to go get our food so here we are now obetsni doom velka hota we have now arrived tadie hospoda obetsni doom pojme let's go obetsni doom really nice day today and also they have a garden where i'll be sitting Wow. I'll be sitting in the garden. Oh, don't be done. Don't be done. Right. Don't be done. Right. Would you sit not then cool? Oh yeah, I'm not going to put you at some sim. No, okay. Ale yeah, would you sit not then? No, I just take you. Um Mate menu, proceed. Yeah, which is it? Typitsky Cheska Idlo, Neska. Okay. Okay. Tak prvni slivovica, proceed. A pivo. Ah? Radagas pivo, proceed. This is cool. Ah, no. Yo. A velko slivovica, proceed. A naidlo kojetsi jizek ondrash prosim. Dikwe. Dikwe. Dabri dem pan kohash. Dabri dem. Right, so this is the menu. Slepichi vivar, selskas destovenu, danchi gulash, kojetsi nedlichki. Wow. Loads of options to choose from. Right, so I've ordered myself Slivovica and beer. Maybe we'll sit inside today. Wow. So this is Slivovica. And this is the pub, Czech pub. Typical Czech pub in Velka Hota.
really interesting place. This is the menu, what they have today. One thing I like about the prices in Czech Republic, it's really affordable. They have good prices for food in the restaurants. So this is a typical Moravian drink, Slivovica, which is mainly available in the Moravian and Wallachia region. Sometimes you can get it in other places, but they would have Jelinek. But this, this stuff here is for no amateur. It's really strong. Right. Nazdravi. Cheers. Welcome Slivovica. Tastes good. A real man takes a shot without a drink <laughs> or water. Straight shot. I'm not gonna lie, I can feel it in my throat. It's not burning, but it's like, you know, I can feel it in my neck. Mm-hmm. Ciao. <laughs> Ahoj. A prosím vás, je to vnitř se přijít, prosím? Jeden. Ano, jeden. Uh -huh. Je dobrý. Na zdraví. Dobré pivo. Já nevím, já to nemám ráda. Wow. So let's have a look at the drinks. Is this the drink menu? So this is what they have here. They have wine and they have hot drinks, non-alcoholic drinks. There's the alcoholic drinks. I was thinking to get Borovichka, but I would get Slivovic, so I should have mixed the drinks. So this is Andras, it's chicken breast covered in potato. And this is Yitronice from the Zabiechka, from the pig that they did the past weekend, Saturday just gone. And here's the brambori, the potatoes. Let's go now. And here is the zeli. Tipitsky Cheskei. You cannot get more traditional than this. And the beer. Prosim, eshe jedno slivovica? Ano, eshe jedno I've came outside to have my typical Czech food. Nazdrovi. This is the best Czech alcohol. Slivovica. Mm. That was strong. Mm. Ah, they also have a play area here for kids. In the distance is the church where I showed you where Jan Karafiat was a pastor, children's writer of the book Brotsi. Here is my traditional Czech food. Wow. Czech food. Wow, this is the traditional Czech food. Have a look. Here it is. Oh wow, Andrash. Let's have a look. Wow, Ooh. look at the potato around the edges. Mmm. Wow, Andrash. Here we go. Typical Czech food. You can always count on me to show you the traditions and the culture. Here we go. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm, mmm, wow, mmm. I've had many Andrashes, Andrashes, <laughs> I've had many. This is the best. The, the, the crispiness, it's not too crispy, it's like, it's like flowery and crispy, it's in between, it's not too crunchy, it's a bit in between crunchy and soft. It's not too salty. I can taste it has like some herbs in there. Maybe it has Marianka in there. I'm not sure. This is a chicken breast inside potato leek. 
it's really, really, de really delicious. I've never come across nothing like this in England. In England, people would usually have just the chicken breast or they would have the fish in batter. But in Czech, it's like they would have a chicken in flour and that's called zizek. And this is similar to zizek because this is ondraš, but this is in the potato. It's really delicious. Chicken breast in potato. Ondraš, this is ondraš. Mmm, delicious, wow. Mmm, have a look at this. So delicious. Mmm. Have a look. Wow. Tastes really delicious. Right. On to the next meal. Yiturovnice a brambori a cheske zeli. This is cabbage. In Czech Republic, they serve a cabbage with their food, which is a combination of sweet and sour. This is the brambories. It looks like a domatsi brambory. Maybe they grown these potatoes themselves. So what we will do now is I can see that there is some ham. Czechs love using kameen in their food. They have it on their bread. They have kameen crisps flavor. They use it in their potatoes. They use it in their food, their cabbage, everything. Right, here we go. So what I will do now is I will try the the cabbage with the potato and this is the pork. Ooh, it smells raw. I have that scent of that blood. It smells like bloody raw. It smells bloody raw. <laughs> right, here goes. It's my first time trying these, this meal. Dobro kuch. Enjoy your meal. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I taste a lot of salt in the meat. Just a little bit because it's in combination with the cabbage. The cabbage has a little bit of a salted flavour and it's a bit sour. But it's a really good combination with everything here. Have a look at the meat. Wow. Smells like raw meat. Mmm. Mmm. For me, it's like mince. It reminds me of the mince, how mince looked. It looks like mince, grinded up meat with cabbage and some potatoes and underrush. The, the food is absolutely delicious here at this pub. I would like to get another Slivovitsa. Just share no Slivovitsa, proceed. No way. Nicholas. These are the maps, how it was centuries of years ago. Wow, and here it says Česko Slovensko Penize from 1918 to 1992. So this is Sto Koron, and this is the Vatse Koron, Tisis Koron, Sto Koron, Sto Koron, and Tisis Koron. So this was the money from the Česko Slovensko time from 1918 to 1992. Fans in the Czech pub. Dobre. Co budete jíst dneska? Prejt. Prejt. Dobre, typický české jídlo, jo, že? Radigas 10. Radigas 10, bomba! Čau, čau, čau. A svoje pice tu nemají, ale že? Jo, jo svoje pice jsou se, ano, jo. Ano, ahojte, děkuji. Naskáno. 
food was really, really great at this pub in Volcar Hotta. While I was leaving, I came across some of my Czech subscribers. Obecni Doom, Velkar Hotta. Really great restaurant, great pub, nice atmosphere, beautiful surroundings. <laughs> and Slepice, they got Slepice here. Time to crack on in the village, I'll show you around. Check out this abandoned house in this village. It's got a sink in there, that's a Czech sink. This is the front. Closed. Zavzeno. A tam je obecni ujad, the local council in Velka Hota. And this here is the Hasichi, the fire brigades. And this here is the obecni ujad. That is the, the council in this village, <laughs> which caters to 500 inhabitants. Velka Hota Obecni Ujad. Ah, just chilling now. Had a nice meal. Spoke to some friendly locals. I've seen some Czech slepice. I've had some traditional Czech food. I've had some Czech beer. Some slibovica. <laughs> Great feeling. Let's make our way up into the village. Let's have a look at the houses here in Velka Hotta, what they look like in this village where there's nothing but one pub restaurant, no shop, nothing else. And it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Got my food from Abetsi Doom, Velka Hotta. These are the houses here, what they look like. Village recommendations. Drop your recommendations in my comments as i said i'll be popping up in random villages doing what i do <laughs> i can see they keep bees over here they got some bee huts maybe they're producing honey some honey it's better Going for a walk after you had a few beers and a few shots. Mostly people here are just working on their gardens. Can see a few people in their gardens. All right, let's make our way up this way. Dobry den, pan. Dobry den, ahojte. Co děláte? No, teď jdu se na masáž, ale doufám, že v květnu přijdeš. Dneska já mám České jídlo, tradiční české jídlo. No tak to jo. Jo? To je dobré české jo. jídlo, ale teď to byla zabíjačka, takže... No, no. sobotu. Já jo. jsem byl v pátek. Jo? No, bylo to Dobré. Divo, bylo to divoké. Dobré, nejte se. Dobrý. Yeah. It's easier when you understand the natives. When you're deep in the hills and the valleys, you know. Makes life a lot easier. <sighs> That's where we at now. Wow, nice wooden houses here. Whew. Look at this, beautiful. I wonder what this is. Nice wooden houses. Oh. <sighs> I need to do a pee somewhere. I hear chickens. Really steep hill in this village. Slepice! Slepice! Dobriden! Slepice! Slepice! Dobriden, Slepice! Mate domatsi vajčka! In the distance. Village dog. <laughs> Dobry den. Dobry den. That's a Czech village dog, by the way. This village is so interesting. Have a look at the, the old Czech village houses here. That one looks at least like 100 years old. 
Stolet. <laughs> wow, have a look at that. That's a Czech village house there. That's a Czech wooden house. Some Czech wood. Some Czech wood over there. Czech water flowing. Everything here is just so Czech in this village. There's a Czech bus stop, Tochna. Czech bus stop, nice wooden bus stop. Most of the buses in Czech Republic are wooden. Tochna. So these are the Czech post box in the village. So as you can see in this village, there's not many houses at all. You can see they're quite spaced out. You can see one here in the distance, one there, just a few on that side. Right, so from this village here in Velka Hota, it's been great. Came across some locals. I've seen the Slepice, some Czech Slepice. I had Czech food. And I also showed you once where the famous Czech author once was a pastor, Jan Karafiet, the writer of Brotzi, a child's book, children's book. So this is a, a really interesting village. I showed you the whole village here. It was really great. That's a Czech stream. Right. Until the next one. From Velkar Hota. From another place. Different location. Who knows?